I've got a new guitar. It is blue. It is a new guitar by Faith. Many of you will know if you've seen my previous videos that I've been playing Faith acoustic guitars for a long time and I really rate them. I'm hoping that this guitar will sound good because I, I feel like I'm confident that it's going to look good but it's very important to me that it sounds good. And my previous Faith guitars have done so. Let's just see. I feel nervous. I've been excited about potentially owning one for a very long time. So I just hope it's good, basically. <laughs> uh, to be as honest as possible, I just hope it's good. And I'm gonna unbox it now. How do we get in? <sighs> it's a box inside a box. Okay, 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 okay. Crunch time. Wow. Whoa. I don't know if you can see that grain. That is, I do not have the correct lighting set up for you to, <laughs> for you to appreciate the grain. Nice case. These Blue Moon guitars are solid mango, top, back and sides, mahogany neck and ebony fretboard with flamed maple binding. It's just so pretty. I haven't played it yet, so, you know, still nervous. But this is my favourite shape of guitar that Faith do. So the guitar that I play all the time that's in most of my videos and is the one that I play most on tour is a Neptune. And this is what this shape is. You may have seen me play a Faith Blood Moon guitar before, which is this one, also a steel string, but I feel like the wood is color is it? Trembezi. And this one is a slightly smaller um, body. It's a Venus. That one is a Neptune. They're different models, but uh, you know, the same kind of take on finish of guitar and exotic looking wood. Wow, they look amazing sat next to each other. Wow, how nice is that? Hold for tuna. Oh, cool. That's kind of cool. Hold for tuna. Just looks like a standard black button. Hold it. Literally turns into the tuna. What the hell? That is classic. I always have problems with the G string on tour. Insert joke here. But it's always out of tune for me on every guitar that I play. I don't, I feel like it might be an issue with the way that I'm tuning it and sometimes it's an issue with intonation. I haven't even tuned this. Fresh out the box. G. In tune. None of the other strings are in tune, but the G. The G's in tune. Let's play something a bit soft to begin with. It reminds me of, and this is probably going to sound really weird, but um, the feeling after you drink a, a bit of alcohol and it's possibly too strong, but then the strength of it and that goes away and it just leaves you feeling really warm, like here. It does, doesn't it? Yeah.
To say that's fresh out of the box, I am quite impressed. I think a lot of people would agree with me when I say that guitars tend to sound better when they've been looked after, well, but when they've been played as well. It sounds new to me, but it also sounds just ridiculously toneful. Some people would have the question, is it style over substance, which is definitely a question to ask of any guitar that has any notable difference in appearance to other guitars. I don't think with this one it is style over substance. I really like the sound that the Mango Wood makes. As much as I do like things to look a bit different, the sound is the most important thing by far. It's got some really warm, low, mid, upper bass frequency action and it's crispy as hell, which I love. But I really, really love the grain. I can't quite get over that. It's it's a thing of beauty. I mean, look at that. Look, just, just look at it, look at it. Hit the like button if you wanna see more videos like this. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I don't know what that was. I will see you next time. I want to